Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today in this video I'm about to show you guys a brand new AI called Recraft AI. And yeah, I think it's maybe even better than the Mid Journey. So right now let me just show you a few images to prove the concept. So yeah, Recraft is a cool tool. By the way, you can also create mockups with it. You can also create vectors, remove background, erase area, and even upscale your own images. So I will leave this link in the video description down below and you guys can just follow me. And uh, yeah, that would be really helpful. However, here on the first page where we have the projects here, you can click on create a new project and here on the left you will see what do you basically want to create image image set mockup or frame here i will go with the image and now here you can see the models which you can pretty much use with this ai tool here you can pretty much see how many of the models you can pick from for example i will go just with the recraft version 3 raw and uh, then you can also see here that you have other models like recraft 20b which is being used on all of these presets right here but i will select here recraft version 3 and you can also see here this uh, sign here version 3 where you can see which model is being used i would go with recraft version 3 raw and uh, now here you can also see this menu so for example you can exclude from image and then here you can also change the color palette if you want to now for the aspect ratio i think i'm going to go with the 16 by 9 so just like this and then you can also see that you have here two of the images you also have to have a paid account if you want to create even more images now here i will just type in a simple prompt for example cute small golden retriever just like so and then down below we also have christmas size and i think that this will add a christmas theme to the image but i'll touch on this topic later in the video so make sure that you stay tuned for that now here i'll click on recraft and hopefully recraft.ai will come out with something really really good by the way meanwhile this is doing its thing make sure that you click on the like button and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already your support is highly appreciated by the way and in the video description i will also put every single link for every single AI tool which I highly recommend of using. Either it's maybe image creation, video creation and everything else. I highly recommend the tools which I have linked below in the video description by the way. And now we have the two images. First one we have this. I think it looks very very nice. We also have this really cool effects. Let me just zoom in a bit here. Maybe 60% here. I think it looks very very nice. Here we have also this really nice bokeh effect. So this blur behind behind the dog and the dog is really nicely isolated from the background here. Let's go to the next one which is this one right here. This one looks very very similar just the dog is in a different position and also in a different direction. Now I think this one looks also very very nice. It looks very very realistic and uh, here if I right click on the image you can click here to copy it, send to back, bring to front or even vectorize. So let's try this. For example let me just try to remove a back Background. And right now, hopefully the recraft.ai will successfully eliminate the background from this image and we are only left with this doc. So here I think it did actually a quite a good job. Here we can also, of course, see this grass here being added to this image. But overall, I think it did a pretty, pretty good job. Here I'll right click on the image and let's click here on the vectorize and let's see what will happen with this image right now. And now here we have the vectorize. For example, here we have the spectrum of the colors. We can also change that if you want to, for example, adopt the colors to something, let's say something like this. And then you can also go to the swatches here and pick whatever color here you prefer. Overall, I think that to the vectorize option here on the recraft.ai is really, really cool. Then we also have here a number of colors. For example, you can decrease or increase this value right here. Of course, with the color number one, it will look just only like this, just like a 2D the image or just to the painting and now if you increase the colors i think it will also add more depth effect to the image as well so i highly recommend playing with the colors here number of colors option here and then you can also add your own color palette if you want to for example if i go with this one you can see how the whole color of the dog actually changes and we can go something back to something more natural and uh, yeah i think it looks okay overall and this is how you can also create vectors on recraft.ai. Now I will go back here 
and I will try to create one more image here as well. I will just use this model, which is photorealism, and it's also using Recraft version 3 model. I'll click on apply here, and I will change right now the actual prompt. So maybe we can create, let's create a portrait of a woman in New York City, just like this. And I will leave the aspect ratio to 16 by 9, or maybe if, if we change that to, let's say, 1 by 1. So if there is an option, so one by one. And for the options here, I will leave it as it is. For the colors, I will leave it as it is as well. But of course, if you want to add your own static color background, you can also do that by just selecting here the color. And I think it works also very, very well. And then we also have here other options. I will just click on the recraft. And right now, hopefully, we will have something completely different in front of our eyes. And now we have here two of the examples i think both of them look very very nice here we have this this photo right here i think it looks okay and then we can also go here to this next one this one doesn't look that natural in my opinion you can also see here nose right here let me just zoom this a bit inside. So here, for example, you can see how nose isn't correctly rendered. And maybe this could be fixed in the next upcoming release of this model. So this one, uh, Recraft version 3. And then you can here on the right export this image as PNG or as JPEG. And then here on top, you can also, for example, draw something on them or just make a quick selection here. You can also erase something. You can cut it if you want to. And uh, overall, I think that Recraft.a AI is really an amazing tool. Now let's try something else as well here. So if you go here to the fine tune option, you can, for example, go to similarity to original image and you can decrease or increase this value. And what this will do, it will make a copy of the image. However, if you increase that, for example, to maximum, this image will look almost identical to this one. Or if you put this one to the lowest value, this image, original image, won't be as similar to the newly created one. So I think this is also very, very cool. Let's go here to variate. And for example, here we can also change the aspect ratio of the image. And then you can also create another image. Now you can see here the subject isolation. I think it looks very, very nice. It successfully rendered out the background here, even with this selection, which I made. And I think that the subject is really, really nicely isolated here. But I don't know where is the second hand of the woman, but maybe this is just an error in the generating of the person right here. However, I think that the isolation method here works really, really nicely on recraft.ai. Now let's go back here to the projects and let's create a simple vector. Of course, you can also try it on your own to create your mockups or anything else. But right now I'll try vector generation as well. So here I will go to create new, I will click here to create an image. And let's create a simple vector right here. So for example, I will change here the aspect ratio, I will go with 16 by nine. And I will also turn on this option, which is Christmas size. So I will enable that. And now I will change the prompt. And uh, I think I will go for the inspiration inside the leonardo.ai. This is another great tool, by the way, which you can also use. Here, I will find a really cool inspiration for the image. Let's say maybe this one right here. And I will copy the prompt here. And I will go back to the recraft.ai. And here, I will paste inside this prompt. You can see how massive this prompt actually is. And hopefully, right now, we will get more defined image with this prompt as well. So right now, I think this is pretty much it. Let's go to the model. Maybe we can also change that. So if we are creating a vector, we can also apply this option here, vector art. And uh, let's see what will happen right here. Okay, so here we have the vector. And let me just zoom this in a bit. So 60%, just like so. And we can see here how the vector here looks like. Now, this is the first option. I think it looks okay. But maybe we can go here to the second one, which looks like this. I much, much prefer this first image. However, right now we can also try something else. For example, we can go here to the back to the uh, vector art here and change the model. I will go with photorealism and click on apply here. And let's recraft one more image here as well. And I will leave this option turned on Christmas size. So hopefully right now we will get something completely different as of this vector right 
here. Now, this is more like it. I think this one looks very, very nice because we also have this really nice subject isolation. We can also see here that the bokeh effect is really, really natural. And then we have here the person standing here. And I think it looks very nice. Let's take a look at the second one. No, this one doesn't look as good as the first one. But nevertheless, overall, I think it's a very, very similar image to the first one. And I think both can be used on some social media post or whatever you are actually creating. Now, one thing which I should actually quickly mention is you guys can also earn free credits with the recraft.ai. Make sure that you use the link in the video description down below and make sure that you use the link, which I will also post in in the video description that way you will also get 200 credits by default i think you will get only 50 credits however if you guys use the link in the video description below you will also get free credits by the way 200 to be exact now yeah i think tool this tool is very very useful if you are for example creating let's say images even if you are creating vectors or maybe mockups i think it's very useful for all that stuff so without any further ado guys this is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I will leave a link for the recraft.ai in the video description down below. Make sure to sign up and you will also get 200 credits by the way. So yeah, have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you all around in the next video.